All right, everybody, welcome back to Thicker Liquor. My name is John, and today we're gonna check out these three bourbons in our 90 proof, best 90 proof bourbon series, part two, as we roll down the line of all the different 90 proof bourbons and see which one are your favorites, which one do we like the best, and we'll talk a little bit about each one, the smell and the taste and how they look. And uh, today we're gonna have the Hotel Tango. That's an interesting bourbon, and we'll talk about, about the taste of this one a little bit. And then we have the Clark and Sheffield, pretty popular in these parts. And then we have some Old Soul, which I've yet to try, so I'm anxious to give this a try, and we'll see what this is all about. All right, and we're back, and uh, this is what we got. We're gonna try some Hotel Tango. I had this one time a while back, so it's gonna be interesting to see. We'll give this just a little bit of a pour in here, and uh, we will let these air out a little bit. I tend to know that if you just go in and taste or smell right away, it's very alcohol, very strong. I like to let these things breathe, and just for a few minutes, wow, look at the color on this Clark and Sheffield. Look at that. This is a straight Kentucky bourbon. The story here is Clark and Sheffield, as everyone would know, is where Wrigley Field is. And they had a little corner store there and they moved to Louisville, Kentucky to continue their bourbon down over there. And it tastes pretty good. We're going to find out if it's still as good as what I remember. And the Hotel Tango, this is an Ohio bourbon. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit about this one. And this is a Jacksonville, Mississippi bourbon, Old Soul. Bottle looks cool, the color looks good. Let's pour a little bit of this guy. We'll talk about this too. All right, so they've been sitting for a few minutes and let's just go through and talk about it. So now this uh, Hotel Tango bourbon, what they like to talk about uh, on this bourbon is that it has uh, some vanilla and some caramel and it's got a lot of that flavor stuff. Let's find out if that's true. Wow. You smell it, you can really smell like uh, the, the sweet uh, little after smell, whatever they call that. That's very good. That is very tasty. It's not harsh. It doesn't have that ringing peat, uh, you know, after uh, licorice up and down taste that... Um, that kind of rings your bell a little bit. It is pretty good. I like it. You can really taste the vanilla and the caramel. And it's probably where it gets that nice dark color. Uh, I'm sure it has something to do with it. Let's go over here to the Clark and Sheffield and see what that's about. Wow. That is a true uh, Kentucky bourbon straight they're not mixing anything in here. This is just pretty good tasting. Um, if you like that uh, straight Kentucky bourbon, it's pretty clean, I gotta admit. Uh, for a 90 proof bourbon, that is pretty smooth. And uh, I like it, I, I do like it. You know, I think um, it doesn't get enough credit, I think, because it's pretty inexpensive. And right now I'm drinking it neat, but if I was to put this on ice for a few minutes, it would be a terrific, terrific bourbon. This is a good buy. I would think that this is a good buy. And over here we have some Old Soul. Again, I haven't tried this. Uh, it's non-chill, filtered, no color added. I hope not. Uh, it looks like it is a pretty good 21% rye, 75% corn. So you know it's going to have some heat. Let's give it a smell test. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And I tend to shy away from these types, so this is gonna be a good test for me. Hoo wee. If you like the peat, if you like that ring, this is it for you. To me, it's it's too, a little too much for me, like, uh, makes me feel like I'm drinking scotch and I'm not like a big scotch guy and a lot of that is because of the that that peat that that taste that just rings on forever I mean this thing you take a sip it kind of runs its course and it's through these with flavors you know it's what you like you know what I mean if you like these with uh, on ice you can drink it neat uh, you know 
and you're always going to be able to sip this and sip this and not have this harsh uh, taste. I, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people like it. I'm not a big fan. Uh, it's not going to go to waste around here, that's for sure. Let's go another round on these. Oh yeah, that is strong. That corn, that high rye. And look, it's been sitting out here for a few minutes and it still smells. I mean, if I was to come in, I wouldn't know if I was about to smell some grain alcohol or bourbon. It's pretty strong, if that's what you like. This one now, been sitting for a few minutes. Smells really good. Clean, subtle. Very tasty. Um, I like it. This is certainly a, a, a good one for its value. And then again, the more flavorful bourbon. You Now it's been sitting for a while and you can really smell those caramel and the nutty stuff and the vanilla. Pretty strong on the vanilla. If you got a good sniffer, you'll be able to sniff that out. And at this point that it's been sitting, it's just like sweet going down. Really good. Uh, I, this is my favorite of the three. This is probably second. This one's a little tough for me, but it's a pretty good bourbon if you if that's what you're into. So what do you guys think? Uh, let me know uh, in the comments below if any of these uh, are in your shelves or any of your top five. And uh, we'll talk about the next three, uh, which I got below the bar. What do you think they are? Uh, we'll find out on the next Dick or Liquor. Thank you again for stopping by.